Uh, so, I've been the most fashionable one here as you can imagine and I've gone for a Seat Ibiza Copa S. The colour as you can see is white, so which obviously matches my teeth. Right, so if you want to open the bonnet you have to do many things. So, you go to the passenger seat, there's a little lever here you have to pull. A noise happens from the front, you come back round and there should be a lever in here. Yeah. There we go. There we are. So in the engine bay there is quite a lot of room available, but mostly we have a 1.2 petrol engine with about 100 weight horsepower, which is not too bad for a hatchback, especially a sports edition that I have. Uh, here it recommends, say it themselves recommend Castrol GTX, so keep that in mind. Right, so moving on to the back, we have a uh, standard tyres, which is standard really. Uh, most of it's really clean at the back uh, and when we open the boot you do it with this symbol, uh, the logo of the car obviously. The boot itself has massive amount of room uh, and it can fit daily appliances, uh, wives, dogs, you know everything you want in there really. So, cool. Fuel filler cap opens and closes. Fairly simple. So, moving on to the interior. So we have the back seats, which, ah, right. That's for security reasons, obviously. So we get in. And there's actually a lot of room in here, which is brilliant. As you can see, there's quite a lot of space in this car, which is really important for family outings and just in general, really. So the interior is, as you can see, quite basic, but it's really simple. I mean, they have the stitching here, multicolored, which is important. Uh, the steering wheel is really sporty, which I really love, and it's awesome. Uh, the gearbox is really nice and easy to change gear, as you can see. It's really good. And then we have an old MP3 player. I have a Prime Star Shine smelling very good. I smell like a Seat owner, which is great. Uh, and here we have a Nature Valley for the Seat drivers. Ford Fiesta have taken the inspiration of the Seat AC, or the other way around, I'm not sure, but it's probably most likely the Ford have taken this idea of the cool honeycomb AC conditioning. And if I, was, if I was James May, I would line them up, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Most importantly, we have an aux cable. So if you're from Ascot, like that likes wearing Nike trainers and caps on the one way round, then this might entertain you. So, now that we've talked about it, we will take it for a drive. Yeah, say they're not famed for their locks. Just use the uh, wireless one. There we go. Right. Yeah, it's not closing. Anyway, so let's go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Right. Into first, and let's go. Oh, I've stalled it. Right, hang on a minute. So what I really like about the car so far is it feels quite sporty. The wheel's up high and you're looking through a small bit of glass and you're, I mean, it goes quite quick as well. As you can see. Really, I really do like the gear changing. As I've mentioned before, it's really smooth, it's really easy to do and it's just fun in general. So the price is actually really reasonable. Uh, surprisingly for a sports hatchback, which is obviously what I've got, uh, it's 3,900 and there's a Fiesta pulling out in front of me. 3,900 pounds, pretty reasonable, uh, and you get quite a lot of car for that amount of money. So the car is just in general a great city car. 
where it goes around little bends like that, which is great. It's what we want. The throttle response on this car is really quick and it gives it sort of a kick to it. It reminds of Spanish cheese. So there is only one problem with the car at the moment that I can see is that the radio doesn't work as well as I want it to be. It might just because of the area of the connection. But I mean, it's on now and you can't hear anything. It's just a bit weird. So therefore I have to use the Chavi aux cable to actually play music when I want to. It doesn't work. Most fat hatchbacks don't actually have this feature. This uh, as a control for the volume of the radio, as you can see. Of the music we like. With this car, you do feel really comfortable and it's spacious. You almost feel like you're in a hatchback version of a Rolls-Royce, but you're not. You're in a hatchback, which is the idea part of this challenge. I love this car. It's probably the best car I've ever driven, ever, in the world. Well, that's because it's my first car, so anyway, still. Oh, not a 20 zone. They say it feels like it wants to do more than that. suitable lunch destination? No, I think so. 